Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Red with Paddle Synergy. And today I'm going to show a workout tip that's going to help you at least get you keep your body moving, engaging certain muscles that are incorporated when we do the stroke. So the two things you're going to need are definitely a paddle. Um, so if you have a, a paddle that perhaps or um, that's a little old, or a little beat up, collecting dust, this would be a good opportunity to pull out so that way you don't put yourself your, or your, your paddle at risk. Um, I would really recommend if you don't have any kind of soft flooring that if you do have either a paddle cover or a paddle tip, if you're a dragon boat paddler, um, to put that on there. So I have this nice little cushy flooring behind me, so I'm not going to be worried so much about it. At the same time, you're going to want to get a dumbbell. It's a really, really small dumbbell, either two pounds, five pounds, no heavier than five pounds. Okay. And so what I'm going to show you is how um, what you can do to engage that top hand and working that bottom hand and that body at the same time. But before we get started on that on that workout tip, I want to give a shout out to West Coast Paddle Sports. Uh, West Coast Paddle Sports is still operating. They're still um, providing services like if you have uh, to need to get your blade cut, if you're in San Diego, um, getting shortened for size, any kind of or any kind of repairs, they are available to drop for you to drop off your paddle. Just feel free to go ahead and do so if you need that. They are there from 10 a.m. to at least, I think, 4 p.m., if not till 5. Um, at the same time, they're also having a phenomenal special called uh, Love to Sup. It's a discount code, Love to Sup, and you get 20% off. I don't know if it's everything, but I'm assuming it's everything. If not, definitely at least majority of the items. If not, all the items are going to be on sale for a 20% discount. Again, it's love to sup, L O V E L O V E two, number two, S U P. I'll be sure to have a link uh, to West Coast Pal Sports with the discount code on the description below. Obviously, it was up on uh, on the video right now. So again, West Coast Pal Sports, check them out. Check out westcoastpalsports.com and uh, take a look and see what they got. And maybe get some really awesome uh, equipment for a really great discount. Okay, so now. Let's get back to the workout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply hold the blade with my with, with my with, would be my bottom hand, and this weight, which is about a five pound, I probably should be using a two pound or lighter, uh, or two or three pound. I'm sorry. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to have I'm going to raise one leg up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hand out, and then I'm going to set. So I'm basically doing a donkey kick at the same time as I'm picking up. I'm meeting that top hand, so I'm working my balance. This is a really great workout if you happen to be a sup paddler in general, but all around, this is for all paddlers, whether you do dragon boat, outrigger, etc. So here you can see what I'm not doing is I'm not pulling with that bottom arm. I'm just dropping the weight. I'm meeting that weight with the T-handle, making sure that they meet. And I'm controlling it. And again, notice, whoa, I'm losing my balance. Notice how I'm coming up. My top hand is making what I call making the rainbow to set. And that bottom hand is just simply picking up and going out. Okay. And what this is going to do is just going to help you understand the movement of the stroke, right? Training the body how to move. And you can also do is you can just drop the weight itself. And you don't even need to have the weight. You can have both hands. And you can just simply set and come back. Okay. In fact, I really recommend first doing with the weight, then grab grab the T-handle and do that exercise. You want to do that probably about uh, for about 30 seconds each side, okay? And then you can do that for numbers that incorporate that into your workout. So that way you have something along and you get the chance to put your hands on your paddle and still activate those muscles and still incorporate that movement. It's really important, especially now where we don't get a chance to get on the water, uh, to keep our body understanding what it is that we do whenever we put that blade in our hand okay some another exercise and one more exercise i want to show you and this is really good if you happen to do as i call it it's like uh so when we, i did outrigger back in the day where we would we would do switches on on one so again you're going to come up you're going to set come back set come back set come back set Come back so you can see as I'm coming out hands coming across I set the blade I load my I load the blade ie my my foot my forward foot and then I shoot myself back switch sides now you don't have to switch sides you can stay on one side the whole time and it's a really great 
alternative, okay? So I hope, again, make sure you, if you're gonna use a blade, use a blade that's going to, um, that you, you know that can handle the movement or handle the situation considering your environment. At the same time, um, be mindful of what it is that you're doing. Obviously, have to be sensitive to folks that um, hold these, you know, these are not cheap. So if you don't have a blade or you don't wanna use your blade, you can get some PVC pipe. Um, I've, got, I've done that before where I just got some PVC pipe and I made a little T-handle situation here and you can definitely do that as well. Maybe put a little tape or some weight, tape some weight on the end of it so you get a little weight to it. And yeah, all right. So stay tuned for more tips. I'll actually have a video on that, how to make your own uh, PVC, provided that uh, PVC paddle so that way you don't have to put on a high price value uh, blade at risk. So. If you have any questions, if you want to see more, or if you have anything in the com, uh, if you have anything that you want to see, put it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to go ahead and provide that, uh, do a demonstration for you. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned for next week's uh, Wednesday's workout. This is basically working through that content schedule a video that I posted up. Also, take a look at at the, the showcase video that uh, Johnny Puake and Puake Designs put out. Uh, why the Kehe Legs? Great video, check it out. Uh, the link is also in the description below. All right guys, have a great day, be safe, and I will see you and talk to you soon. Cheers.